Hi, Pisces. Um, let's go ahead, um, Pisces, and look into what's here for you in the next week to come. And just a reminder that this reading could resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart, in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, let's go ahead and get into this energy. Starting off with a Four of Swords, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Knight of Wands, or Knave of Wands, Page of Wands, and Two of Wands. Wow. Then we have the Chariot Energy, Cancer. We have Eight of Pentacles. And we have the King of Pentacles. We have Judgment Energy and the Seven of Wands. Pisces, as you're moving into this week, you're in a place, this group of Pisces is in a place of really changing some things up. Um, I'm not sure what's happened, Pisces, if, if there has been a major decision for you or if there was some sort of major change that you have been working through, but you yourself are going through uh, some sort of major change and you're embodying the judgment energy for um, the beginning of this week, um, the week of the 16th. So um, you're in a place of great change. I think you're allowing it to come in. I think you're allowing what happens to happen. And um, in a way, it's like you're in a place of resignation. I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be bad. That's what I mean. Like, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I just think like, there's nothing else to do but to but to push forward into this. And I do think, Pisces, that you do have the strength to do this. I mean, there's a lot of forward momentum here. Uh, I think as you're coming into the week, you're in the four of swords position. So you've had some time to really kind of come in out of the battle, uh, rest up, rejuvenate yourself, find your find your clarity again, um, build up your uh, your heart center again and, and really uh, um come into this week in a, in a very strong place because I think you're realizing like there's something here Pisces that's moving forward and there's really nothing that you can do about it and I I think that the, the only thing that you can do about it is re really focus in on it you know really focus in on it. there is a king of wands here connecting in um with this with this big change is happening here now it I do feel Pisces that this could be somewhat of a big change um judgment energy moving up over the chariot, over the eight of pentacles into the king of wands. I mean, this is a big move and shake month, whatever this is. Um, you're allowing it to happen. It's something that you might have even fought against at one time. But um, yeah, I mean, you are living this. You are in this. Um, you, you are fully in this in this journey um, as you're moving into the week. Uh, the chariot is moving it forward. So uh, there's a way forward. There's balance here. There's speed here. I think that there's optimism. Uh, there is a King of Wands. Now, is this King of Wands you or someone else? It's going to be different for everyone. But the King of Wands is this very strong masculine who's really able to step into new frontiers and into new territory with charisma, with strength, with optimism, and really kind of start to plow his own way forward. Uh, it takes great strength. It takes a lot of uh, persistence and it, it just takes this this big strong force that the king of wands has so there is a king of wands here and the king of wands if he is a different person than you this king of wands this masculine energy is very much front and center in whatever this is so you could be on a team with someone this could be a spouse this could be a lover this could be a boss um, but very much connected into this change very much connected into this change um, let's go in. Let, let's go briefly into the King of Wands and, and give us, please give us more information about this King of Wands. Please give us more information about this King of Wands. More information about the King of Wands. More information about the King of Wands. Two of Swords. I think for most of you, this is like your energy. I really do. I think it's your energy. I think it's something that you're doing, something that's, um, you know, there could be a king of wands here, but I think for most of you, you are the king of wands. I think that you now have the strength to do this. You now have the truth 
Um, whereas before the truth and, and the plan and, and the decisions weren't all there, um, now everything's really opened up and the information's there that you need. Uh, I think you're strong enough to see the evidence. You're strong enough to see what it is that you're going to do. And I just feel like there really isn't any more time to make a decision. I don't think there's any more information that you need. And this is moving forward. So I think the King of Wands is, um, is, is somewhat, because we have the Ten of Swords. I mean, I think the King of Wands is somewhat unhappy or somewhat resigned to this that's a judgment energy yeah i do pisces this many most you're in the king of wands i mean there's there there's an exception here and there but i do feel like you're in the king of wands energy and yeah it's it the time is now it's time to take action it's time to see which way to go and and really kind of step onto a path here and with the chariot energy uh the universe is moving you forward and um Ten of Swords, it, it's something that you're resigned to do. And it, you could have fought against this for a while, Pot Pisces. You could have fought against this. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand it. You might not have understood it at all. Uh, that's the Two of Swords. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, when you're at the Two of Swords, there, there's something here that's just being kept from you, whether it's yourself keeping it from you or the outside world keeping it from you. Uh, but now it's all there. The information's there. Um, you're you're moving into action, and with the Ten of Swords over the top of Judgment, I really think this is something you could have fought against for a while, or you could have um, struggled to to do for a lot while. But now you're just like, okay, <laughs> it's time, it's happening, it's go time. And I don't really remember what the reading was I did for Pisces last month or, or last week um, because my brain doesn't work that way. But um, for this group of Pisces, they are. Um, in the flow of something that's moving ahead and they have like, re there hasn't been a whole lot of choice. There hasn't been a whole lot of choice. And now it's time to kind of step forward and do something really big. And uh, Pisces, I think you have the energy for it. I really do. I think you have the energy for it. I, I think you realize like it was coming up and I think you're ready for it. Uh, and then we have the eight of, eight of pentacles, which is a very strong, uh, a strong energy, um, a, a talented energy, a focused way of being. So there's something here that you're very focused in on. There's, there's not, it's, it's like, it, it, it is the sole concern. It is the sole concern. And as you're moving towards the end of the week, Pisces, uh, you're moving into the seven of wands position. So you are in a defensive place. You're protecting it. You're guiding it along. You could be advocating for it. Whatever this is, like you are a representative of it. Uh, representative of the work that you're doing or of uh, this experience that you're guiding along or you're leading along or whatever this is that it could even be a relationship that's happening here but you're very much in a protective or um uh, or an advocacy place connected in to the work that you're doing or this uh, experience that you that you're focused on and i yeah i do believe that it is um, a very strong focus for you in the middle of the week. You're very busy with it, whatever it is, a project or whatever it is, you're very busy and not a whole lot can pull you away from this because I think there's something here that you feel very strongly for. You feel very strongly for it. Um, the seven of wands um, rises up over the top of the eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles into the page of wands. So there's something here that really has... Uh, uh, charged you up, something that has charged you up. And I think that you are, you know, full of the strength and full of that vitality. Uh, and even in the expansive nature of your excitability, like this is growing on you. This is, this is something that is, as you're moving into it, it's something that you're taking on and you're growing into it and you're becoming even more excited about it as you move. I, I do feel like it's going well. I feel like whatever you're doing is going well. Is it hard? I think it's hard because Pisces, you have to really focus so carefully. Um, and also there's something here that's going to require you to step out in front of it or represent it or advocate for it. And Pisces, that might be a little bit difficult um, just because you've just been through this judgment energy. Um, you haven't had a lot of choice in this, but honestly, like it is, you are, you are becoming sure of this and you are dedicated and committed to it and you're really willing to do what it takes and and you have the energy and you have the inspiration to do that so it this is a pisces whatever you're doing here this is a week of movement um 
a week of just like getting your feet wet, getting your feet on the ground, um, just getting in there and, and getting it done, whatever it is. Um, and as you get to the end of the week, you're, you're, uh, there is a King of Pentacles here. Okay. Is the King of Pentacles your energy or is it another person? Uh, it could be another person because you have the seven of wands connected to it. So you could have a boss here, a spouse, a lover, a father, a community member, somebody here. But this King of Pentacles is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn type energy, very earthy, very careful, uh, very much connected into the third dimension, the quality of life, the, the health and the wealth of the business, um, the, the financial um, well-being of the situation. So this is somebody who looks um, at a situation in terms of the economy, as terms of um, income versus expenses, uh, the bottom dollar, and really how to take care of something. So this person that you're connecting to in a, in a almost in a defensive way or in a, um, uh, I need to go deeper. I need to go deeper in this. There, there's some variations I'm feeling. I, I need, I'm going to go deeper here. King of Pentacles. See, there's, there's a seven of wands connected to the King of Pentacles. So there's some sort of division or some sort of, um, uh, unsettling energy here between this King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. But then again, the King of Pentacles is, is connected to the Page of Wands. So the King of Pentacles is connected to whatever has inspired you and really has helped to um, bring back this vitality within you. The King of Pentacles is connected to that as well. It rides up over the top of the King of Pentacles. I mean, you could be looking at long-term stability here and how to really manage your finances, how to um, invest in something, how to take care of something. Um, but I think for many of you, this King of Pentacles is a person around you um, who is somewhat um, very much... Um, and, and I, I just want to say, like, protective about what they have, understanding what they have, understanding how to manage it, understanding how to grow it, understanding how to retrieve it, like, you know, debt and retrieving and ma maintenance of the cash flow and all that. This King of Pentacles, is his, his brain, this masculine energy really is focused in on that. Um, there is a decision here to be made now as you come to the end of the week. There's some sort of decision about strategy, how it's going to be done, when it's going to be done, where it's going to be done, what is the process, what are the phases, all of that. So there is something here that's moving into a change position as it's moving out of the week and it's connected to this King of Pentacles, um, which for, for some of you could be this long-term planning. And for others of you, it is a person here who is... Um, connected into the money, connected into the plan, connected into the business and has this King of Pentacles would have a certain amount of power here because of the money situation, because he's the king of his kingdom. So there is a person here who's a, a little bit of a power player. Um, and here you are advocating to this person or defending yourself to this person. And then um, depending on what this person, the response of this person, there is a decision of how exactly to, to move forward here. So this King of Pentacles is very much a part of this, I think. Whether, again, whether it's long-term planning or whether it's a person here that is, you know, like acting out in the King of Pentacles space, um, there is a decision that's coming in here by the end of the month about how it, it continues on, how it's done, um, the strategy of how it's done. Let's go into the Two of Wands here. Two of Wands energy, Two of Wands energy, Seven of Wands, oh, that's the card that was already on, Four of Cups, Four of Cups, it's, it, I, uh, this King of Pentacles, whatever this is, I'm not quite sure how this King of Pentacles feels about whatever's going on, but I feel like for you, Pisces, I, I feel like connected into the King of Pentacles is something that you're not really all that happy about. You just might not be sure what to do, and you might not be sure how to communicate with this King of Pentacles. Let's go into the King of Pentacles energy and see what this King of Pentacles has to say. King of Pentacles. What does the King of Pentacles have to say um, about this work that you're doing or this focus that you have? What does the King of Pentacles have to say about it? What does the King of Pentacles have to say about it? The world flipped over. What does the King of Pentacles have to say about it? Three of Pentacles. There's work to be done. I think the King of Pentacles does want to participate in this. He 
um, probably has something to do with this project or this relationship. He probably has something to do with it. Three of Pentacles is a teamwork, indu industrious, ambitious type of, of state of being. Um, here's the Eight of Pentacles. You're very much focused on work or something that can connect you in with wealth and stability and financial security here. Um, success with the Eight of Pentacles. And here's the King of Pentacles here. Um, having something to say about this work that's being done. What does he need to say? Hermit. He might have a different way of doing it. He might have, he might have done it before. He might be a very much a veteran or whatever you're doing. Um, and I think that this could be slightly annoying. I honestly do think it could be a little annoying for you, but I think this person might have a way of doing it that, or, or wisdom or some sort of knowledge within him or some sort of advice to give about this work that you're doing. And whatever is happening here, there is a decision to be made probably in connection to this, what this King of Pentacles says. To, you know, I mean, in, in each of your specific cases that, that are happening. Let's pull out one more. One more for the King of Pentacles. Tower. It could be something that would really change things up for you, Pisces. I don't think that's very welcome. I think it's frustrating. I think it really is hard for you. Um, that's why you're in this defensive position. Um, but it does look like there is an option coming in here that might in many ways help. It might bring betterment. It might bring improvement to it. But I, I just feel like you are not really excited about coming up against this kind of a change. I feel like you would just prefer to just continue forward in the manner that you were already, you know, established in, not changing it up, not doing it differently, um, not bringing in all this chaos. Like I think you want it to be smooth and efficient. Why does the King of Pentacles want there to be changed? Probably for money, probably for efficiency, probably because he has had some sort of experience with this because we do have the Hermit coming in. Um, but does the King of Pentacles always have to get his way? Not necessarily, not necessarily. Um, tell us more about the Two of Wands. Tell us more about the Two of Wands. Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles. I just feel like you're going to disagree. I feel like you're going to disagree with the King of Pentacles. I really do. I think that whatever he's wanting you to do or whatever is, is an option for you, uh, I think that it, it possibly could just feel like it's too much. It could really feel like it's too much. There could be a lot of pain here and anxiety about what's going on. And maybe there's a lack of money. Maybe there is like um, with the Four of Pentacles, that's just surviving, right? Surviving, holding on. Barely managing to make it. That's the Four of Pentacles. That is exhausting. And whatever this King of Pentacles is asking for, I think that he's asking for you to do this while you're in this state. Um, tired, exhausted, anxious about the future, probably worried about money. Uh, you could just be surviving here, just making it through, just scraping the bottom of the bucket every month um, for finances. And I think that this King of Pentacles might just not understand how it feels to be in a situation where um, you're finally on track, you're finally um, going and it's flowing smoothly and you're getting somewhere. And then all of a sudden this King of Pentacles comes in and really wants to change things up in a way that could be quite hard for you to do, even at a time when you're not really getting any more benefits for making the change. There's something that's not fair here. I, I really feel like there's something that's not fair here connected to the King of Pentacles and, um, Nevertheless, it is here. It is in this energy. And so this King of Pentacles is going to bring forward some sort of offer to change, offer to make changes. And um, I feel like, especially this week, I don't think you're going to be really too excited about what he has to say. I think you've already got your flow. Uh, the King of Wands doesn't like to be... <laughs> Oh, the King of Wands doesn't like to start over. He doesn't like to stop. He likes to continue forward. He doesn't like to backtrack. He doesn't like to take U-turns. He likes to keep moving forward. King of Pentacles, he's a little bit more obsessive compulsive about the steps and the process and the 
and the cost and, and the income and, and everything in between. And he could be a little, he can be quite um, difficult as he steps into analyzing what's going on and he could have his fingers on it. And that could just be so very frustrating for the King of Wands, which Pisces, I do think that you're embodying the King of Wands energy. So this King of Pentacles, while he might have really good ideas and he could be really smart about what he knows, he is going to frustrate you in some capacity as he brings forward his thoughts and his ideas and this offer of or this option that that brings in some sort of um, intersection for you where you're going to have to say like do i do it or not should i or shouldn't i this way or that way uh, it's going to kind of slow you down and make you and ask you to start making decisions once again after all of all the work that you've done now you're back to decision time and i think that's somewhat frustrating for you Here's the thing. I don't think it's bad that it's happening. I just think it's a frustration. I think that it's frustrating that you are in, in some sort of process and you have your flow going and you have this happening in such a nice way after all the work that you've done. And now all of a sudden we, here we come up with another, um, break in action. And I think that that could be frustrating for you. Um, but there is another option here. And I think that is also good to have options and to, and to really kind of dig into those. So, um, yeah. Um, let me see if I, um, I, I think the energy is just kind of slowing down. So I'm going to, um, take a break now and then I'm going to go into the extended in the extended. We might dig down into a couple of these cards, um, a little bit more. I think I'd like to go into the two of wands just a little bit more and see if we could find out what some, you know, a little bit more about the option that's coming forward. And I kind of like to go into the chariot as well. So I'm going to, um, unless I forget, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to come back and move into the extended. We're going to look at the chariot and the two of wands. And then we're going to also pull cards for money um, also in the extended. All right. Um, my friends, thank you for being here. I hope this reading made sense. It's a little topsy-turvy. Uh, because we do have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles both trying to control the situation. And we have you in this very strong fo focus. So it's a little topsy-turvy, but um, I hope this reading made sense. And I hope it resonated with you in some way, Pisces. Um, I am going to move to the extended now. For those that want to follow the energy, uh, there is a link below where you can uh, find the extended readings. Also, I do have personal readings that I'm offering. Uh, my prices go from uh, $20 all the way up to $180. So there's a lot of choices of as far as options go for cost. Um, it just comes down to how much time it takes me, basically. So that's really how I've, I've created the products. All right, Pisces, thank you for being here. It is a pleasure to read for you. I wish you all the best. It, it is a um, fruitful and um, healthy period of time for you, Pisces. All right. Thank you so much.